Welcome back everybody, Jesse here. This is part three of our intro video tutorial series on Wayscript. Let's jump in. In the last video, we built a program that automatically checks the stock price of Microsoft and sends us an email if the price drops below 100. Today I'm going to show you how we can use Wayscript to run a similar program for as many stock tickers as we want. In order to do this, I need to introduce you to the concepts of lists and looping. Put simply, a list is a variable that can hold multiple items instead of just a single item. For this example, I create a variable called tickers and I add multiple stock tickers to the variable. In the variables panel, you can see that my tickers variable holds two values, one for Microsoft and one for Tesla. Now we need to tell our program that we want to look up the stock price for each ticker. In order to do this, we can use a loop. Looping is a powerful tool that lets you perform repetitive tasks quickly through iteration. If this is confusing, don't worry. This is most clearly understood with an example. To get started, I drag in the loop module and select my tickers variable. In order to demonstrate how a loop works, I'm going to drag in the print module to display data back to you when we run our program. I put the print module on the loops branch. In the print module, I put our tickers variable in square brackets to indicate that I want to print the variable's value to our log when the program runs. So now let's run this program and see the results print. Looking at the log, we can see our loop in action. In the first step, our tickers list was created. Next, it entered the loop and it iterates over the first item in our list, in this case Microsoft. Notice how Microsoft is printed in our print module. On loop 2, the value of the variable has changed to Tesla. This is powerful because, like the print module, any steps we put on this loop will happen for all the tickers on the list we are iterating over. To drive the point home, I'm going to go back and add a third list item to our tickers variable. When I run the recipe, we can now see that we looped and printed three times. I also want to explain how a loop fits into the context of your recipe. What do you think will happen if I place another module below my loop branch? Let's drag in another print statement to find out. In this print statement, I'm just going to type, your program is finished. Check out the result. Our finished print module only printed once, after all of the loops. When a loop occurs, it will perform all actions on the loop before moving on to later steps. Congratulations, you now know everything you need to in order to build a powerful stock program. Notice how my steps are now built on the loop branch, indicating that these actions will occur for each ticker. When our program runs, it will loop through each stock, check its price, and if the price decreases, it will send us an email. This is just the beginning of what you can do with Wayscript. Jesse here. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials.